They've stood through hurricanes and some very harsh winters. But now a microscopic threat could change New England's force forever. WBZ meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff shows us how. It's a rainy day in Newport, Rhode Island, but that isn't stopping Matthew Achino from doing his job. With hose in hand, he's treating the beech trees at Chateau sur Mer. During the Gilded Age, wealthy Newport families collected more than mansions and art. They collected plant material as well. They wanted all the latest introductions from Asia, and they populated this entire neighborhood with an arboretum that's beyond compare. These trees have survived hurricanes and harsh winters, but now face their fiercest fight, a microscopic nematode. One tree would be fine, and the next tree would be um, suffering. Jim Donahue is from the Preservation Society of Newport. There was an initial panic. Um, you know, what if this takes over and how long does it take for a tree to decline? But we were lucky to be able to get on top of it right away. Experts call it beech leaf disease. First spotted in Ohio in 2012, it's now spread into New England. The microscopic worms attack the buds and leaves. Caretakers are throwing everything they can to save the trees here. They've had good results by either spraying the leaves or injecting fertilizer right into the roots. We don't have a magic wand, we can't fix it permanently for right now, but we might find that over the course of the next decade or so, we might see less symptoms. These beaches aren't just historic landmarks. They create a deep canopy that houses countless numbers of animals. And the rush to save them isn't just here in Newport, it's also happening in Massachusetts. So we're in the heart of this beautiful grove of Copper Beach. At the Ames Estate in Northeastern, Joanne Vieira from the trustees showed us the impact firsthand. And when you look at this tree, it's still quite healthy, still vigorous, but you can start to see in this lower canopy the damage to those leaves. The nematodes leave a very distinct striping on the leaf. Over time, the damage worsens. The leaves crinkle, the growth slows, and the canopy begins to thin. In tree after tree. They've lost tissue between the veins, which is where you usually see the nematode damage. The damage stretches across the entire estate, and saving them comes at a steep price. To protect these century-old giants, both groups are shelling out hundreds of thousands of dollars each year, an extraordinary price to preserve living history. And while all that may sound expensive, what do you do when the entire forest is infected? In New Hampshire, beech trees make up about 20% of the forest, and in Maine, nearly half. Experts warn losing them could rewrite the landscape. Truly devastating, truly devastating. If our native trees are devastated by this, there will be big openings in, in the forest. And just like the beaches in Newport, the trustees are saying their treatments are showing promise, killing the nematodes and giving the trees a fighting chance. And Vieira remains hopeful that what they're doing now will keep the beaches standing for generations to come. These injections are used on other trees that it works very well on, but it's still an experiment. For now, an experiment, one that could decide the future of New England forests. In Northeastern, Jacob Wyckoff, WBZ News.